Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a process on how to steal a cookie with the help of cross-site scripting. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to share, if you want to uh, have like share any of your doubts or queries, you can check out my discord server or if you want to connect to me personally you can check out my twitter and the linkedin the links are in the description below so guys uh, if you had followed my some of the previous videos which are related to cross-site scripting like i had mentioned some i had made some videos on reflected accesses and with the help of demo as well as the stored accesses so in this video i am going to demonstrate a lab so which is uh, uh, made available with the by ports figure so if you don't know ports figure is a company uh, which owns perp suit okay so i'm going to demonstrate that so this is the lab guys here so here you can see that uh, as the name suggests the exploiting the cross-site scripting to steal cookies so this is uh, our lab and this is our task as well so here uh, we will be encountering some few topics and we'll be discussing uh, about them so guys so this is as we discussed earlier so stealing cookies is our main aim here so if you had gone through this lab carefully like you can see they had mentioned a concept of stored excesses so stored excesses in the sense the script so if you are not familiar, much familiar with uh, if you are familiar with uh, cross-site scripting then you would know that cross-site scripting is nothing but you will be trying to uh, run a script okay a javascript on a web server okay through the help of input or various fields so stored accesses will be used here so we'll be trying to exploit the stored accesses vulnerability and we'll be using a script okay so a script to to steal the cookies okay so that there will be a script for the java uh, in javascript so i'll be mentioning that as well no need to worry and then so in order to steal a cookie so like let us assume that you uh there is a tool in burp suit itself called as burp collaborator so this particular burp collaborator helps you in opening like a domain kind of thing for free like this works only for burp suit premium but if you are able to find something you can do go ahead okay or you can simply put your own local host like like if you are doing it with within your own vm or within a local network then you can put some normal kind of thing as well okay like you can open an ng rock you can do anything okay but for this particular thing burp collaborator you need to have a burp premium so this gives access for a domain okay so domain in the sense like it be having a domain like google.com assume like that okay so which helps us so with this help of thing we'll try to uh, steal the cookie so these are some requirements for us okay so let me go to this thing so here you can see that i had already solved this lab but i i mentioned i thought to share the process as well because this is a thing not a complex like thing but it is really easy or really hard to understand the things that are going around okay so if you can see here so you can see there is a this is a website this is a test website kind of thing so in order to like if you know stored accesses so stored accesses is like it is getting stored in the database so what gets stored in the database like if you take this particular block if you guess it is a comment section then you are right so i'm going to choose anything so here you can see that uh, there is a block something block like that okay and before that i will try to check whether this is having a uh, it is having vulnerability of cross-site scripting or not by testing with the help of reflected accesses okay so we need to test it because like you might not always find the things right things so I'm, i used a simple alert script here so i'm going to name as i1 and uh, sci at the rate test.com and you don't need to provide any website you can post the comment here so as soon as you post the comment just go back to the blog so you can see whenever this blog uh, like uh, refreshes whenever this blog gets refreshed then you can see this uh, pop-up will get come keep on coming so that is what stored access in, means okay like our particular script got uh, stored in the server okay so now let us make this a bit uh, what you call a bit worthy okay like let us think like an attacker perspective and all these things i'm going to show are only for the educational purpose guys so make sure you use them for 
good okay so here we'll be using a script uh, so i'm going to mention that script oh uh, and this particular thing guys so this is the script that we are going to use now so like i'll be trying to explain it easily okay so this is script we are going to run a method or a function you can call it anything so fetch you need to provide the url of your domain okay which we'll be gathering in a few minutes with the help of burp collaborator and there are some few parameters here like the method is post and the mode is no course so no course in the sense like we are restricting to only send the methods like post get or some few uh, only methods like we are only restricting the number of methods okay and also the body is the document dot cookie so i'm going to show you a simple tweak for you here so let me open the console here okay so if you go to the inspect and if i go to something called as console i think i can make it a big yep i can make that big so if you can simply type document dot cookie so it is related to something like uh, like you need to have a little bit familiarity with the javascript so you can see this is my java this is my cookie here so i'm going to note that down no need to worry like this is the cookie of this particular user i don't know the username let us assume the username is something okay so this is the username uh, this is the user cookie okay of the particular user that we are logged in so now what we are going to do is we are going to the steal the cookie of let us think some other user and we are going to logging login like him or like we are going to tweet like him or we're going to comment like him you can call it anything like that okay so uh, to differentiate so this is the cookie of the present user okay so that's it so that is the um, uh, functionality of this document dot cookie right so we'll start doing it so let me open my burp and this is my burp suit uh, this is the professional edition and this is not cracked version this is the professional edition and i bought this thing uh, like a 30 days pack i think so and here if you wanted to access the burp collaborator you need to click on this burp and here you can see something like burp collaborator client so now a new tab gets opened here so you need to copy something to the clipboard so this generates like a server right uh, so let me paste that here oh sorry so let me copy that to the collaborator and uh, what we'll try to do is so first of all let me paste this script here so first of all let me paste the script so this is my script here and now i'm going to paste the collaborator uh, id so i'm going to click on i click down copy to collaborator and i'm going to paste that here okay so you'll be getting something like that so htt add https colon slash slash you'll get some random characters here and something like dot burp collaborator dot net okay so this is how this function this is what this function requires and now let me enter my name so i'll name sci2 or sci2 at the rate test.com and i'm going to click the post comment okay so once i click the post comment here and now you can see so here you can see you might not find everything because it is polling so polling in the sense it is finding out the stuff if i click on poll now so you can see i got few requests here so like one thing you can do here is so you can see there is a type here so let's look for the http type because that is what uh, it is uh, more more important for us because we are interacting with a http page or a web page so request to the collaborator so what we are requesting so we request a few stuff okay and what is the response we got so this is the response we got okay uh, so this is the response we got so here you can see there is a a parameter in the request collaborator saying that a session and something like that so i'm going to copy this thing and i'm going to paste it over here okay and if you can see here the cookie of uh, the user that we logged in and the cookie that we acquired is not same in the sense we got the cookie of the other user so what we can do now is we can uh, mention this particular cookie uh, and we can try to access like him okay like we can log in like him or we can do stuff like him okay so let me close this thing i think collaborator is fine for us now so now what we'll try to do is i'll go back to a block okay i'll go back to my home okay i'm going to turn on my proxy 
or you can use of some other tools like foxy proxy or anything like that okay so i'm uh, simply intercept is on here okay and i'm simply doing a reload here i think i got my request i'm going to change the cookie here okay and i'm going to intercept off the thing and let's wait what happens you can see that we logged in and you can see we had solved the challenge as well so this is how uh, an attacker tries to exploit this particular cross-site scripting and uh, if you like if you find out a vulnerability on stored excesses then trust me guys it is going to be it is going to make a lot of impact on the security team as well because if there is a stored excesses like you can see you can like whenever other person tries to access that page that script gets loaded and his cookie will be yours and with that help of cookie you can log in like him you can do any various stuff numerous stuff so that is it guys for this video i hope you found this video helpful like i tried i simply tried to explain how i was able to steal cookies or how you can able to steal cookies with the help of stored excesses and if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share or do comment uh, regarding what type of videos you want to see in the future and this is Sathvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.